Now let's turn our attention to the directionality of communication. Downward communication occurs when information flows from a higher level to a lower level. Among other things, it's used to set goals, provide direction and instructions, communicate company policies and procedures, and provide followers with feedback about their performance. Team meetings and company letters are two examples of downward communication. The obvious problem with this kind of communication is its one-way nature. Upper levels inform lower levels, but they rarely ask for the lower level's advice or opinions. When we engage in downward communication, it's important to explain to people why a decision was made. When our followers understand why we chose the option we chose, it's easier for them to understand and accept that decision. Upward communication, on the other hand, flows from a lower level to a higher level in the organizational hierarchy. It's used to provide feedback to higher ups, inform them of progress, and relay questions, concerns, and problems. When you ask for clarification about a task or send an update about a project you're working on, you engage in upward communication. Here's a few tips for communicating with the higher ups. First, make sure you prepare an agenda in advance and stick to it. You have to remember that your boss doesn't have a lot of time. Number two, communicate concisely. Again, your boss probably doesn't have time to read long emails and meet for long periods of time. Number three, Focus on actionable items, things you can do to make things happen in your work group, in your organization. Lateral communication is also called horizontal communication. That's because it takes place between people at the same level of the organizational hierarchy. We sometimes use this kind of communication to expedite things. Instead of going through the boss to get something done, we go directly to the source of power and communicate with that individual. Instead of asking your boss to ask your colleague for help, you talk with the colleague directly and make a plan between the two of you. For this reason, lateral communication can help us save time and coordinate our actions with others. Unfortunately, horizontal communication can create dysfunctional conflicts. Some organizations actually forbid their employees from breaching the formal vertical channels, and some managers don't like it when decisions are made without their consent.